it is Tuesday. Lots of twos today. It's February 22nd, 2022. That's got to be, Dr. Coley, some sort of like numerology, like gift of gold. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I am a fan and uh, a believer in astrology. I don't know about you guys, oh but I would have never sign. guessed that. Well, there's some science to it. There is certainly some science to it. I don't know if it's real science or pseudoscience, like <laughs> yeah, Dr. Jackson with the style on science. That one. But yeah, <laughs> do you believe? I'm sure. Do you do anything special today playing a lot or anything? No. But maybe I'll take a, <laughs> like a, nothing. nothing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we okay. just got to move on. Our yeah. senior executive producers, like, just get over Way it. Way to okay. crush that ad lib. <laughs> <laughs> ad libbing was my special. <laughs> okay, let's get to, there's a new study out about Americans and their diet. It says a majority, 57% of Americans plan to start a diet tomorrow but then we all know this we never do it also says that 76 percent of folks believe there are an overwhelming variety of diet options out there which may lead to confusion over what's best so of course we got dr coley here thank goodness so what does science tell us about diets and is there such thing as a good or bad diet so first i want to start by saying that i hate the word diet you know because diet itself implies something restrictive and that's not how we should be approaching our eating behavior and secondarily to me it applies something temporary that you're just doing something for a short period of time so I like to say eating patterns or eating behaviors is what we should emulate and there are good ones guys and they're bad ones so the good ones out there the Mediterranean which is you know olive oil avocados salmon the right types of fats mm. dash which is limiting it, the salt in your diet that's for people who have high blood pressure plant-based for my favorite host of DVL, Sam. Oh, she's <laughs> just taking that juice, so she said it. <laughs> I'm the only plant-based host, that's why. <laughs> but plant-based diet has actually been shown to have positive cardiovascular benefits as well, and then intermittent fasting. So good diet. Which Jeff does. Yeah. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. So good diet, and I'm using the word in quotations, is something that sustains behavioral change and that improves your cardiovascular and other outcomes. And something bad, on the other hand, is something that's not sustainable sustainable and something that gives you temporary reward but long-term harm and what I'm thinking of there is the keto diet yeah which is it, that yep. high fat diet it's kind of like what Atkins was like in the 2000s and then everybody found out it's not good for you yeah exactly. I'm, well I mean that's that kind of leads me to my question of why can't even the diets that you don't care for like the keto why is it so hard to stick to any diet I feel like everybody New Year's yeah. we're doing it Jeff you you actually did stick with the intermittent fasting yeah, so, yeah and you've been doing that for a couple he likes to punish himself. he's been doing that for about I a do year or something I, it's true like to a little extent <laughs> I like the pain yeah so maybe you and Dr. Coley tell us how you do that so I think a couple of things there, Al. So psychologists have looked at this. Why is it that over 80% of Americans don't have their resolutions anymore by February that this month? And one is we want too dramatic a change. So we say, okay, starting today, just like you read, Sam, tomorrow my diet is going to start and I'm going to lose 30 pounds in the next month. That's just too aggressive of a goal for something that we can incorporate into our day-to-day -day life. What would you tell our viewers who are like, but I want to make some changes. So what are some like actual doable changes that are viewers watching right now can implement today. So first is setting a realistic goal. So five pounds in a month is a very realistic goal that most of us can achieve, which is about a little over a pound a week. So that is something that's doable. Second is framing. You don't want to say, I don't want to eat junk food. That negative framing actually drives more bad behavior. You want positive framing. I'm going to eat more healthy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move more. And then the third is the math, in versus out, right? So what you're taking in versus what you're putting out. And so if you can incorporate even five minutes of activity into your day multiple times a day that's really going to help you lose some of that weight Ooh. does vacuuming and sweeping count because i'm really into sweeping right now i am what sweeping. cathartic <laughs> sweeping the floors what's wrong with no, that we, we grasped the concept <laughs> We, don't, we were just surprised. Is, is that is house chores enough of exercise? Is what Sam is saying. Was it wrong when Danielson did it in Karate Kid? Why is it wrong when I? He do was it? under specific guidance from Mr. <laughs> yeah, yes. What, the house chores. So how do you guys train. know that you're exercising enough? This is a good yes. question because some people tell me I walk my dog three times a day. Doesn't count. So you need to be getting that heart rate up. Uh -oh. So if Sam is doing aggressive sweeping, <laughs> like really, which he probably is. 
<laughs> then yes, Sam, that would count. Although you're a swimmer, so for you to get your heart rate up, I think probably would take a little bit more. You need to basically be getting to a point where you're starting to break a sweat, but you don't want to be so short of breath that you can't talk to somebody next to you. So if Mark was standing next to you having a conversation, Sam, you can't get two words out. <laughs> then you dial it back a little bit, this we think. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. How, how important is taking a break? It's because Sam obviously is very vigorous in her sweeping. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it, when if good. your body's sore, like in all seriousness, like how is it actually not productive to work out every single day? Very much so. So that no pain, no gain thing, not true. You need to listen to your body's cues. You are in a dance with your body. If your body is saying dial it back, you dial it back. That's how you prevent injuries. That's how you prevent heart attacks while you're exercising. That's how you, you prevent yourself from getting discouraged. Because if you're doing something and you're feeling miserable while doing it, guess what? You're not going to do it again. That's why I mean, Al's always in child's pose when he goes to yoga. I, listening to your body. That, <laughs> oh, wow. That was good. <laughs> she, I didn't see where that joke was going, and it came running. It was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, Wait, I got to give you some. You ask this next question because it's important. Okay. Uh, so t very on brand here. Uh, so we're asking about junk food. That's my thing. <laughs> Obviously, I don't drink anymore. So junk food is like that's my one vice. Uh, so how do I get past that? How do most people watching probably watching us eating some junk food right now how do we get past that and how bad is it so first of all you don't have to throw the baby out with the bath water so yes it's got a lot of risks associated with it but people who restrict too much can actually be unhealthy they have unhealthy relationships with food because they worry too much about what they're eating so i say eat the little junk food but make sure it's no more than 5% of your calories. So if you're you know, going to eat 100 calories, only 5% come from junk food. So in a 2,000 calorie diet, that means less than 100 calories of junk food. Don't buy too much of it, Al. If you don't have access to it, you won't eat it. Don't eat it out of the bag. Put it in something like a bowl or something. So that's that you never happened. Portion in 44 it. years. Oh, no. Every time goes, somebody puts something in a bowl, I'm like, wow, you, that's just, really adult of you. He just goes to Erica Cobb's desk and opens up her candy and eats <laughs> it out of her desk. What is happening this morning? She left them out on her desk for <laughs> okay. a week. Uh, what All do you right. want me to do? Okay. Coming up on TV. Thank Erica you so goes, much, yeah. Dr. Coley. We appreciate you.